Have you ever wondered why you do the job you do? Did you wake up one morning and decided that you wanted to be a lawyer, a doctor, a teacher? Or was there something calling you to work in the profession that you serve in? In their book, Shaping Professional Identity, Drs. Connolly and Clandinan identify <clears throat> Drs. Connolly and Clandinan identify the desire to teach by their meaning of the stories to live by. This was further extended by Dr. Shell Craig in her paper, Coming to Know in the Eye of the Storm, that identity-related teacher narratives are formed by personal, practical knowledge forged by experience. This idea of the personal to the professional is intriguing to me, and we need to engage teachers, beginning teachers, in this process. We need to do this, because beginning teachers are leaving the profession in droves within the first five years. In my research, I outline a distinct phase of beginning teacher preparation that I term the Cotyledon phase. You can think of this as a teacher's origin story. So let me share with you the Cotyledon story of Kikoa. Kikoa was a first-generation college graduate. His parents emigrated from Palau, near Guam, before he was born. And he identifies himself on official paperwork as Pacific Islander. This places Kikoa in the smallest teacher demographic in Texas that has reduced by two-thirds since 2017. Kikoa has a strong sense of connection to his students, and this is best illustrated with his story with Ronnie. On Kikoa's first day at his initial field placement experience in a discipline unit, he met Ronnie. Ronnie wanted to fight everybody and was quickly labeled as a troublemaker. But Kikoa worked with Ronnie through the semester and showed patience and understanding. At the end of the semester, Ronnie came to Kikoa with a jar. And on the jar, it said, inspirational. This was indicative of the relationship that Kikoa had built with Ronnie and the impact that Kikoa had had on Ronnie's life and Ronnie's education. This moment solidified Kikoa's teacher identity and brought forth his desire to be a teacher. You can think of the Cotyledon phase, and we should refer to it as part of the initial field placement for beginning teachers. For Kikoa, this sense of connectedness to his students was integral. It was part of who he was, and it's best described by the proverb that his mother used, which is a Palawan proverb, it says, reach out your arm, and a man's hand will reach back. For Kikoa, this is him reaching back to his sense of community. For Kikoa, this is him bringing his personal identity to his professional identity. As a researcher, I was intrigued by this concept, that personal identity might be nestled within professional identity. In botany, the cotyledon is the leaf, which is already present within a seed at the seed's impetus. And as the seed grows, the cotyledon looks like the true leaves, which will come later, but has a more unrefined leaf design. It's important that we engage beginning teachers in understanding their cotyledon phase and it means that they can be supported by university professors, teacher mentors, and their own understanding of their emergent teacher identity and the soil which is provided to them for their stories to flourish by. In course design, the Cotyledon phase means that we can create opportunities for students to reflect on their desire to teach. It means that we can look at embrace their cultural and familial narratives and it means that we can help them understand their emergent teacher identity. For Kikoa, that sense of community is a pillar of his personal identity and a pillar of his professional identity. 
Kukoa's story is a story of metamorphosis, and Kukoa's story is the personal to the professional. Thank you. Thank you.